Pluto, a distant and secretive planet, was once considered part of our local planetary system. However, recent surprising statements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have thrust Pluto back into the spotlight. They proposed that this icy world might be on a potential collision course with Neptune. How could this be possible? And what consequences would such a catastrophic event have? Could this be a fascinating cosmic anomaly? Or is there something more to this looming disaster? Join us as we delve into the potential outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Once categorized as a planet and later reclassified as a dwarf planet, Pluto remains a subject of intrigue in the vast cosmos. This is evident from the recent speculations by renowned experts. Pluto's orbit closely intersects with Neptune's, which has raised concerns among astrophysicists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Mikio Kaku, who warn of a potential disastrous impact between the two with significant repercussions for Earth. But how could such an event happen? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It takes an astonishing 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has not even finished a full revolution yet. The fascination doesn't end there. Pluto's orbit is exceptionally elliptical, diverging greatly from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. A more intriguing feature is its tilt, 17 de Grolern to the ecliptic plane, making its path noticeably tilted compared to the other planets. This inclination and eccentricity introduce additional layers of complexity to its orbit. One of the most remarkable aspects of Pluto's orbit is how it intersects with Neptune's. For about 20 years during each orbit, Pluto comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what one might expect based on their positions in the planetary system. This raises the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational interactions of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began immediately after its discovery, as astronomers sought to understand its unique path. Unlike most planets whose orbits lie close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out due to its steep inclination and eccentric shape. The mystery deepened as scientists realized that Pluto's orbit actually crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit, despite these complexities, demonstrates the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space refers to the challenge of calculating how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, interact with each other gravitationally. This is similar to predicting where objects will move based on their starting positions and mutual gravitational effects. In Pluto's case, the problem shows how its orbit, Neptune's, and the Sun's gravity all interact in a complex manner. Astrophysicists Highlight terms like asynchronous libration, orbital precession, and the Kozai oscillation to explain this phenomenon. Asynchronous libration refers to how, whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is key to preventing a collision. Orbital precession refers to the slight upward movement of an orbiting body. For Pluto, this means that when it nears Neptune or another large planet, it is positioned above their orbital plane, providing an added protective measure. Another important factor is the Kozai oscillation, which describes how Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun's gravitational forces influence each other. This oscillation helps to maintain Pluto's orbit, preventing any erratic movements that could lead to a collision. Despite Pluto's seemingly erratic path, this oscillation stabilizes its movement over long stretches of time, revealing that even chaotic-seeming systems follow hidden patterns and rules. These factors help to keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring that it doesn't crash into Neptune or drift too far off its course. The three-body problem is crucial for understanding the changes in these orbits and the interactions between celestial objects. Studying this helped scientists learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and even distant stars and planets. Mathematical simulations in the 1980s revealed that despite these stabilizing effects, 
Pluto's orbit is unpredictable. Even small variations in its initial conditions could lead to significant changes over millennia. Nevertheless, Pluto's orbit has been found to maintain stability over extremely long timescales. Further investigations have helped us understand how Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn affect Pluto's orbit. There is a unique relationship between Neptune and Pluto. For every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. Jupiter's immense gravity also plays a crucial role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit, preventing it from veering too far into Neptune's territory. Saturn's gravitational pull adds another layer of stability. These findings suggest that Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune are working in tandem to ensure Pluto's safe passage through space without encountering any significant problems. Without these gravitational interactions, the solar system could be a much more chaotic place, where objects like Pluto could crash into other planets or be ejected from their orbits, triggering a cascade of events. The cosmic dance continues, the intricate gravitational resonance between Pluto and Neptune, where Neptune completes three orbits for every two of Pluto's, is a marvel of celestial mechanics. This cosmic lock has kept them safely apart for billions of years. Yet, the warnings from astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have sparked curiosity and concern. Could an unforeseen event disrupt this delicate balance? What would it mean for our solar system if Pluto and Neptune were to collide? As scientists dive deeper into this question, new simulations suggest a rare but possible scenario. The solar system is not static. It's a dynamic web of gravitational influences. A massive external event, say, a rogue asteroid from the Kuiper Belt, or a distant star passing close enough to tug at the outer planets, could perturb Pluto's orbit. If this were to happen, the stabilizing effects of Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune might not be enough to keep Pluto on its predictable path. Imagine a future where Pluto's eccentric orbit becomes just a fraction more erratic. Over thousands of years, its path could shift, bringing it dangerously close to Neptune during one of its 20-year periods of crossing inside Neptune's orbit. Scientists estimate that a collision, though unlikely, would be catastrophic. Pluto, with its icy composition of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide, would likely shatter upon impact with Neptune's dense, gaseous atmosphere. The debris could form a temporary ring around Neptune or scatter across the outer solar system, potentially pelting other bodies like Triton, Neptune's largest moon. The consequences wouldn't stop there. Neptune's massive gravitational field could be disrupted, sending ripples through the orbits of nearby objects. While Earth is far enough to avoid direct impacts, the altered dynamics could affect the Kuiper Belt, potentially sending more asteroids toward the inner solar system. This could increase the risk of collisions with planets like ours, echoing the chaotic early days of the solar system. But not all scientists agree on the severity of this scenario. Some, like Dr. Jane Liu, a Kuiper Belt expert, argue that the solar system's stabilizing forces are robust. The resonance between Pluto and Neptune is like a cosmic safety net, she explains. Even if a perturbation occurs, the gravitational influence of Jupiter and Saturn would likely nudge Pluto back into a stable orbit. Others, however, urge caution. Michio Kaku points out that our understanding of long-term orbital chaos is incomplete. The three-body problem, even with modern supercomputers, remains a puzzle. A small change today could lead to a big problem. A million years from now, he warns. To address these uncertainties, astronomers are ramping up observations. Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are now trained on the outer solar system, tracking Pluto's path with unprecedented precision. Meanwhile, advanced simulations model thousands of possible futures, tweaking variables like the mass of a hypothetical rogue object or the influence of a distant star. These efforts aim to answer a critical question. How resilient is our solar system's delicate balance? 
For now, Pluto continues its slow, tilted journey, a cosmic wanderer that defies expectations. Its story reminds us that the universe is full of surprises, where even the most stable systems can hold secrets waiting to be uncovered. As Tyson puts it, Pluto's orbit is a reminder that the cosmos doesn't care about our assumptions. It challenges us to keep asking questions. Will Pluto and Neptune ever collide? The odds are slim, but the possibility keeps scientists and stargazers alike watching the skies. The dance of these distant worlds continues, a testament to the beauty and complexity of our solar system, and a call to keep exploring the unknown,